Yeah. Hi, good evening. My name is Glenn Robertson and uh, we're here at Kaleidoscope. We've just had our official launch tonight and uh, we were honored to have Dr. Trevor Jones with us. Um, living in the UK but also residing somewhere in South Africa in uh, the beautiful city of Cape Town. Um, Dr. Jones, a couple of questions that we as a band, as, as a group of musicians would like to ask you. You, at the age of around five, had it in your heart to become a composer, a musician, you wanted to do films and music. What, what would you say to young Cape Townians, young South Africans who like a Don Vino Prince or Didier Richards or Tony Drake, what would you say to them in terms of uh, how they should go about their music and their lives? Um, it's very difficult, very difficult to actually try and tell somebody else how to do what you do with the passion that you do and I don't know, I, I found the harder I worked, the luckier I seemed to get. And because of my commitment to my love for what I was doing, um, it seemed to get easier and easier, you know, as time went on. Um, but certainly, the thing to do is to define what you're doing, where you want to get to, look out what your borders are, and then just dig deep, you know, just go for it. Because what's there to lose? You know, and everything to gain. And, uh, Really, at the end of the day, I didn't. I, I wasn't looking for success. Mm. I, I wasn't looking for um, for fame or success. I was looking to be as good as I could be at my job. And mm. uh, I don't know. It seemed to me to be. Um, how can I put it? Uh, it the, the harder I work, the more I kind of realized that uh, the objective was to try and not but set my own standards. Yes. To try and better what I was capable of doing and not to actually think about anybody else or yes. anything else. Yes. Just to see how good I could be. And um, I don't know, I, I hope that uh, it's an example to other people to just, you know, just just to go for it, because there's nothing to lose. And now, to gain. Yeah. I appreciate what you're saying. You've achieved so much uh, internationally. I mean, when we look, when we look at what you've accomplished in terms of the films that you've done, this, this, the musical scores, uh, you've impacted the world. I mean, as Martin introduced you tonight, you, you're probably the biggest, and I don't want to use the word commodity, but you probably one of the biggest um, musicians to come out of District 6, to come out of Cape Town, South Africa. Um, you've now come back to South Africa. What, what was, or what is in your heart about South Africa that you feel that you, you want to come back to and, and do? You can take the boy out of Cape Town, you can't take the Cape Town out of the boy. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, I mean, I just, this is my home, this is where I belong, this is my family, this is my community. And for 47 years, I wasn't quite sure why it was that I wasn't comfortable, really. Yes. Whether it was um, London or Paris or um, Hollywood, I just, I felt, I didn't have roots, I was deracinated, you know. Wow. And, and the moment I came back, and mum and I was with family and friends and just, I just knew this is it. This is where my heart is, this is where I belong. So it's been a phenomenal journey. Mm. And at the end of the day, you kind of, you know, just being honest to thine own self. Yes, is true. yes, absolutely. I said to my wife, you know what? It's about time I came home. And she said, let's go, let's go. Back to so she is British. She said, She's uh, half French, half, half English. Uh, the children are uh, United Nations. Yeah. They kind of got a bit of everything. In there. Okay. 
And, uh, but they've all got South African passports and they're all come over now. My daughter's married a South African. I didn't think she would. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah. You know, this kid, um, she's not a kid anymore, she's 32, and I'm expecting our first grand. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So. Are they living in Ketcha? No, they're coming to live here. Um, there's a big mass exodus on the kids yeah. that I've moved. Yeah. So now the kids are moved, but the aunts are coming as well. The old aunts from the from town. Yes. And everybody that's been in, in London for so many years. It's like a big mass exodus now. Wonderful. I think the weather's got a bit colder. Yeah. <laughs> it's always been cold, but I think this year is particularly bad, so they're all on the move. Yeah. All coming south like swallows. <laughs> yeah, it's just fantastic. Just, I think people just kind of feel a bit more comfortable now mm. to be able to come back and feel that you know, they're welcomed in their own communities yeah. and stuff. So it's a lovely feeling to feel uh, you know, that you can contribute to the world working. The world's a weird place technologically that I can come and go and, yeah. and still feel that, you know. It's a global so, village. Yeah, it's amazing. One last question. And um, you obviously are doing master classes and, and on Monday, we, you're doing two at the University of Cape Town, at the Music College of Music. Are there any plans to possibly have uh, the Trevor Jones Academy of Music or something like that, to leave a legacy behind? Um, Martin knows more about this than I do to me. <laughs> but, but Martin, can we get some input from you? Martin, uh, yeah, can yes. we help? There, there has to be, it's, it's an undeniable truth that this country forgets very quickly where people have come from. Yeah. Miles Davis will always be Miles Davis in America. Yeah. He did one album, A Kind of Blue, which is celebrated. Mm. Now you have someone mm. here who has changed the face of contemporary music, of film and everything yes. else, was born here, lived here. The country needs to celebrate those things. We're so busy talking about the doom and gloom of everything yeah. and the politics, which is an absolute fiasco, let's be honest. Let's celebrate the good. Madiba told us to leave a legacy. Yeah. Let's go and leave a legacy. Otherwise, why do we live in South Africa? And it's something that the Western Cape government and that the city of Cape Town need to do and need to do quickly. We're 20 years into democracy next year. That comes by once. And they are fools. Yeah. There we go. Sorry. I just got to Sorry, say no. that, yeah. that uh, the most important thing for me is, at this point in my life, is putting back. But really by that I mean looking out for the next generation because that is the South African future. That's right. If we don't invest in those little people, we're not going to have a, a country worth knowing yeah. or being proud of, you know? And so, those people who don't have a voice for big, baldy people like me <laughs> should stand up there and say, you know what, education is the most important thing, mm. scholarships change yeah. our life, yeah. and we've got to give it, we've got to look after the next bunch. This is, uh, this is our time to take care of, of the future. Wonderful. Young people. Well, on behalf of Kaleidoscope, the Glenn Robertson Jazz Band, the ESP Africa Music Exchange, um, however many organizations represented here, we, we just want to say to you a very big thank you for tonight, for just being here and just being humble. And, and it is such as you heard um, Salim Kaji say, you know, you, you said something tonight that really inspired him as a young up-and-coming artist and, and I'm a little older than you but I just want to say it's it's an honor and a privilege for us to have had you here. Thank you so thank much. Thank you for that curry. Wow. <laughs> the curry. <laughs> the curry is amazing. I love, I love it. I love it. It's lovely to be home and eating real course again. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any questions from you guys? Any questions? Tell me. I was Did born you? at an early age. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know, because we're going to make speeches. Because we're so overwhelmed with your presence. You know, like, yeah. Like Martin always, he's such a good orator. Orator, absolutely. I just love it. So don't even ask him next time. No? Yeah, yeah. Even come to the point, he's like, go, 
Tu kasai! <laughs> but you know, Chief, it's really honored for you for yeah. us to be in your presence. Absolutely. Thanks, God. God brought you here to us. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much.